You are coming home soon, right? Surely you don't plan on staying out all day. I've only gone and made you the mother of all feasts. Chop, chop, Benny. It's getting cold. There's no time to waste, sweetie. Take a shortcut, why don't you? Huh? Why would you cook me a feast? Now, the thought's nice, but it ain't my birthday for months yet, sweet cheeks. Your birthday? Oh, dear, sweetie. It's our wedding anniversary today, you dolt. Huh? Oh, uh, oh, uh, it is? I mean, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> and now that you mention it, it is, ain't it? Jeez, you forgot, didn't you? I knew it. I must have a sixth sense, because I just knew it. Oh, well, come on, you can't seriously expect me to remember things like that. Things like that? Wow, Benny. At least tell me you're coming home today. Let's enjoy some delicious food together. We've worked ourselves to the breaking point this year. Yeah, I'll be coming home, but I'm stopping off at my parents' place to grab my mom first. She'll be joining us. Huh? Your mother? Why? That's it, the reaction. Anyone would think you'd be pleased. Don't you like the idea of my mom joining us to dinner or something? It's not that I don't like it. But where did this come from all of a sudden? She hardly ever comes over. Why would she join us for dinner today of all days, on our anniversary? You can drop the act, Jill. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Go on, admit it. You hate her, don't you? You hate my mom. I can tell from the atmosphere whenever you're together. I sweat so thick that I could cut it with a knife. Oh no, you didn't. You can't actually be serious now. Me? Hate? Her? You've got to be kidding me. You don't have to be a genius to be able to see it's the other way around. No matter which way you look at it, she's had this inexplicable burning hatred for me ever since we met. She doesn't like me one bit, and I have absolutely no idea why. No idea why. It's because you don't have your shit together, obviously. My mom wanted me to have the perfect wife. It's her mother's instinct. She can't help it. Oh, really? I don't have my shit together? Well, I'm so sorry I couldn't meet your oh-so-high expectations. I have no idea what your mom could possibly mean by the perfect wife. But you're the one who chose me. Don't forget that, Benny. My mom said it herself. You're not a suitable pick for me. She did, did she? So what? Is there some law that says you have to blindly accept every piece of bile that comes out of her mouth? You're the one who invited me out on our first date. You're the one who asked me to be your girlfriend, and you're the one who asked me to marry you. You, Benny. Or did you forget all of that? If your mom told you the sky was green, would you believe her? It's only natural I'd respect my mom's judgment. She did give birth to me after all. Besides, she has tons of life experience, which means she's pretty much right about everything all the time. I didn't realize it when I asked you to marry me, but I know now. I should have listened to her from the get-go. She was right. She was right all along. But I let my own dumb feelings get in the way of her good judgment. You regret marrying me? I didn't say that. But that's what you mean, isn't it? Don't you think you might be a little too easily influenced by what your mother tells you? Geez, Benny, I thought you were a grown man. Are you capable of thinking for yourself? I got no intention of getting into a shit flinging match with you, Jill. I'm above that kind of immaturity. I want us all to talk about this seriously later on, in person. Talk about what? Do the two of you want to gang up on me? Lord knows she's been waiting years for the opportunity to insult me directly to my face. Me, you, my mom. We're all gonna sit down, have a little chat together. To think, today was supposed to be our wedding anniversary. I can't think of a more unpleasant way to spend it. What a shame this is. Anyway, is it really so urgent that we have to discuss it today? There is still an entire feast waiting to be eaten here, you know? Just because our marriage is falling apart doesn't mean we have any right to waste good food. What say you we save this discussion of yours for another day and eat with your mom today instead? I'll be eating at my folks' place before we come, so you can have the feast to yourself. This isn't the time to be celebrating the likes of anniversaries. That's how important this is. We need to talk ASAP. The likes of anniversaries? Wow. So not only did you forget about what should have been a special occasion for us, now you outright insult it. You know what, Benny? I was trying to extend an olive branch with this feast. 
We've been fighting a lot lately, and I thought that with some good food and a nice relaxing atmosphere, we might actually be able to get along for a change. I couldn't have been more wrong. Jill, I'll be taking my Benny back home with me where he belongs. We're going to let you be on your own now, so I suggest you use this time wisely and think very carefully about everything we just discussed. Think? I take it you mean about the divorce papers you guys pretty much just threw in my face? You should just be grateful I didn't force you to sign them right then and there, you cheeky little witch! The honest truth is that me and my Benny would hand them in today and never see you again if we could. But, regrettably, if you're not the one who ultimately makes the decision, it could cause us all sorts of legal problems down the line. I would never have guessed in a million years that I'd get a set of divorce papers thrown in my face on our wedding anniversary. You really did take the biscuit with this one, Bessie. This was your idea, wasn't it? Go on, admit it. There's no point in hiding anything now. And why would I? I have nothing to hide. Yes, it's as you say, it was my idea. However, it takes two to tango, dearie. My Benny agreed to it faster than you can say moldy cucumbers. Turns out my instincts hit the bullseye, because my boy got sick of you a long, long time ago. You should have seen the sigh of relief he made when I suggested you and him finally call it a day. You must have known, right? I find it hard to believe the two of you could have lived in the same house for so long, and you be totally clueless to the fact that he doesn't love you anymore. Yeah, I knew. I'd be lying if I said I didn't. I guess I just wanted to believe the Benny I fell in love with was still there somewhere. This is all a bit sudden, so I'm gonna need some time to think about the divorce. You've already had time, Jill! I shouldn't need to say this, but let me remind you, you have no choice in this matter. Don't forget that we could have you forcibly removed from that apartment if we so chose to. The only thing keeping you there is our sympathy and kindness. Hurry up and sign the papers! What's the rush? I'm rushing for the same reason you rip a band-aid off quickly instead of dawdling and prolonging the pain. The sooner this is over and done with, the better for all of us. You should be just as eager to get out of this loveless marriage as my son is. Think about it. The sooner you move on, the sooner you can find someone else and start a new life. It's what's best for the both of you. Is that really the only reason? There wouldn't happen to be some other pressing circumstance on your end that demands me and Benny divorce as soon as possible, would there? Quit your baseless speculation, you insolent little wannabe super sleuth! You know nothing! All I want is for my son to be happy and free as soon as possible! Stop clinging on and give up already! It's pathetic! Jill, where are those darn heckin' divorce papers? It's already been three days! Already? I think you mean it's still only been three days. Three days should have been more than enough time for you to sign on the dotted line. There's only one way this ends, damn it! Stop living in denial! It's tragic! Why haven't you signed the papers yet? Hurry up and sign! Sign them now! Have you still not let go of my son? It's time to wake up and smell the coffee, because he is so done with you. Nothing you could possibly do will change how my son feels. I haven't let go of Benny? I'm sorry, I don't follow. We're already divorced. What are you talking about? What? Really? Yep, I signed and handed in the divorce papers just like you wanted. Oh, you did? Well, that's fantastic! I'm pleased you finally mustered up the courage to face reality and do the right thing. This means my son is finally free. But if you'd already handed them in, you could have at least told me. Are you with Benny now? Has he been with you at your place these whole three days? Yes, it just so happens that he's sat right next to me as we speak. He said he has breathing difficulties when he's with you because you're so suffocating. <laughs> I see. Would you mind passing him your phone? We need to discuss where we go from here. Ah, that's right, of course. There's still the house and the move to take care of. You do have some loose ends to tie up. Give me a moment, dearie. 
It's me. Mom told me you handed in the papers. You took your sweet time letting go of me, didn't you, sweet cheeks? <laughs> when will you be coming to collect your things? I want to hurry up and get this apartment sold as soon as possible. I'll stop by and grab my stuff when you're at work. I think it's for the best that we don't see each other. Sure thing. So, this really is the end for us. Still, you really were in a rush to get this over and done with, huh? To tell you the truth, it was kind of hard for me to process everything with how quickly you guys sprung it on me out of the blue like that. I wanted to be free as soon as possible. Life is short and there ain't no time to waste. Is that so? That's funny. You see, there was me thinking it was because you wanted to remarry as soon as possible. What are you talking about? That's crazy talk. Like I'd be in a rush to remarry after everything we just went through. You wanted to get married before she gave birth to the baby, right? I'm sure it would have been worlds of trouble for you to go through a divorce when you had a newborn to think about. Anyway, Benny, enough beating around the bush. Let's hear it. How many months pregnant is your new fiancé exactly? Hey, excuse me? What are you talking about? It's fine. You don't have to play dumb with me. I know everything. Your lovely mother found you another candidate for a bride to replace me with, didn't she? I can hardly say I was surprised to find out. That's exactly the kind of thing she'd do. Wait, how do you... what? A little birdie told me that she was out on the hunt for a new would-be wife to replace me with. She was asking all of her friends and neighbors if they knew of any young, single, fertile women for a blind date with her hunky stallion of a son. I won't tell you who, but one of your relatives was kind enough to tell me all about her little recruitment drive. Seriously? Well, this is a new low, even for you. You couldn't handle the fact that I'd had enough of you, so you went sniffing around mine and my mom's private affairs. You're a disgrace. Hardly. All I did was say my goodbyes to everyone after you threw the divorce papers in my face. I was just being courteous. It was when I did that, one of your relatives told me about what was really going on behind the scenes. Totally without any solicitation from me, by the way. It turns out there are some kind people in your family, after all. In their words, Bessie's been trying to find Benny a new wife so she can get rid of you. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I guess they must have felt sorry for me. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't shocked when I found out, but it did make a hell of a lot of sense. Let's face it, it was pretty weird how desperate you were to get the divorce over with before I even had time to process what was going on. I had a hunch you were up to something fishy, and it turns out I was right. My mom chose my new fiancé for me. She said me and her are a perfect match, and she's gonna make me happy forever by being the best wife there ever was. You know what? She really is an amazing woman, just like my mom said. That's great, Benny. I am pleased for you. But you should know this counts as having an affair. Did you actually think you were gonna get out of this without paying compensation? Do you think someone as greedy and tight-fisted as you can actually bear to see your wallet take such a massive hit? <laughs> You're not as clever as you think, Jill. We were prepared for the possibility of you finding out about my mom's bride hunt. She promised that in the event that you did find out, she'd bear the financial burden. My mom would do anything for me. She's the best. Really? What a wonderful pair of human beings you are. You're lucky to have each other. Well then, in that case, I won't hold back in demanding as much compensation as humanly possible. Still though, I gotta say, I'm impressed at how quickly you got this new girl pregnant. You move fast. She's my type in every single way. My mom really does know me better than anyone. I know it sucks to be you, babe, but me and my new girl are gonna live happily ever after. That's a shame. There was me thinking it was going to be me and you sharing the rest of our lives together in happiness. I had no idea we'd end up parting ways like this. You kidding? There's nothing we could possibly share together. <laughs> Not a thing. Wow, really? Not a thing, huh? What about my inheritance? Huh? Inheritance? Listen, sweetie, I didn't tell you this, but the thing is... A major company bought up most of the land my parents have had on the market for the last few years in one fell swoop. Which means that ungodly amounts of money just made their way into their bank account. Hey, wait, 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 what? Ungodly amounts of money? <laughs> how much? Just, just, just how much money are we talking here, Jill? According 
to my mom and dad more than enough to put them into a top-of-the-range care facility when they get too old to look after themselves. Plus enough to keep a roof over my head for the rest of my life on top of it. Not only that, but apparently they still have some land left. Where it is that the price is currently skyrocketing due to a major development project by the local state government. You could say that they hit the jackpot. Needless to say, there'll come a day when I inherit more money than I'd ever know what to do with. Not that that has anything to do with you anymore, of course. Why didn't you tell me about any of this? <laughs> this is important, damn it. How could I? I only found out recently myself. Recently? So you could have still told me before today, then. To tell you the truth, the plan was to tell you on the night of our wedding anniversary. I thought we could celebrate the good news with some good food and a few drinks, but... Well, yeah. I can't say I was much in the mood to discuss any of this after having a set of divorce papers slammed down on the table in front of me and being relentlessly berated by your charming mother. You should have still told me. Ugh. And what would you have done if I did? What difference would it have made? Would you have changed your mind about the divorce? Is what you just said about money true? Is it really? This ain't just some sick joke to mess with me, is it? Nothing but God's honest truth. You're welcome to ask my mom and dad. God freaking damn it. What the hell kind of timing is this? Right? I was pretty disappointed myself, you know. I was daydreaming about the two of us spending our retirement in comfort and luxury on some remote tropical island, when the reality of you and your mom's insane shenanigans came crashing down and snapped me out of it. I thought we could live out our days in peace, tranquility, and happiness on my inheritance. I had so many ideas, but I know now I was deluding myself. Your mom would never have allowed you to carry on living with me. My mom? Yes, your mom. She was hell-bent on having you get rid of me and marry your current fiancé, right? She's wanted nothing more than to see the back of me ever since we first met. I guess it can't be helped. No, wait, 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 please. Let me speak to my mom. We can solve this. I'll tell her I want to hold off on the wedding. Are you going to remarry me? But won't your new fiancé be disappointed? I thought you guys were raring to get hitched. How can you nullify the wedding when you've already got her pregnant? She'll be devastated, Benny. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I have a feeling that kid ain't mine. What do you mean? Well, uh, let me see. We only did it once. How can she be pregnant from that? It just doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right, it can't be mine. Time to call off the wedding. Wow. Don't be coy, Jill. I know you still have the hearts for me. If you promise to be a good, loyal wife, play your cards right, you might be in with a shot of resurrecting the flame of our romance from the ashes. Even if you were down for that, your mom wouldn't be, would she? You'd have to be relentless and stubborn in persuading her. Our happiness would all depend on whether you could persuade your mother to allow it, right? Hey, sorry I kept you waiting, sweet cheeks. There was a little trouble, but it's official. Me and you were getting married again. Did your mom finally give us the go-ahead? Oh, uh, just forget my mom. What she thinks is irrelevant. Who gives a heck about her meddler? I somehow doubt it's that simple. She was the ultimate ruling authority in your life until yesterday. You never made a decision without her say-so. What happened? She was opposed to me and you getting hitched for a second time. She wouldn't understand, so I had no choice but to cut old ties with her once and for all. You... you cut ties with your mom? What choice did I have? She wouldn't listen, and there was no persuading her. You know how stubborn she is. Are you really that desperate for us to get married again? What about your new fiancé? What does she think about all this? I broke up with her. And what did she say to that? Who cares? Whether she agrees to it or not don't matter. Me and her are done. God, you should have heard her incessant whining when I told her. I got sick of hearing her petty crap, so I slammed the door in her face and left. Is it any wonder she's upset after you got her pregnant and dumped her? <laughs> Who cares? None of that matters, as long as I get my inheritance. All I want is for me and you to live that life of carefree ease, comfort, and luxury you mentioned before, sweet cheeks. Tell you what, I'm heading over to the burger joint right now, but I'll pick up the marriage registration papers on the way back, okay? Get your pen ready, missy, because me and you are going to the Bahamas. 
Excuse me? Wait, is my phone bugging out or are you actually this delusional? I won't be signing anything. What? Why on God's green earth would I patch things up with you? Have you lost your mind? I only just got my freedom. <laughs> what the hell? What are you talking about? This ain't what we discussed, Jill. What we discussed? And what exactly did we discuss? I never said me and you were getting remarried, Benny. It's not my problem if you took it upon yourself to misunderstand me and throw away your entire life. I can't say I feel sorry for you, but maybe you'll think a little more carefully before making major life decisions in the future. Your judgment was so clouded by the prospect of getting your grubby little mitts on my money that any sense you might have had before completely vanished. Uh, do you have any idea what I sacrificed for you, you bitch? My mom fainted with shock when I told her I never wanted to see her again. Wow, did she really? Oh, that must have been quite the sight. I abandoned my own mother for you, you invictive evil woman. How can you tell me now that you don't want us to get married again? You ruined my life! Ugh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How about you slow down, Bonehead? <laughs> bonehead Benny. I like that. Tell me, genius. When exactly did I ask you to cut all ties with your mom for me? Go on. I'm waiting. Okay. Sure, maybe you didn't, but still. I wonder if the ex-fiancé you tossed by the wayside like a piece of garbage will be filing for child support. You might be the world's biggest scumbag, but that doesn't mean you get to escape from your responsibilities as a dad. My mom might be willing to pay the compensation, but child support too? I can't do this, no. God damn it, I thought everything would be fine if I could just get my hands on that inheritance. God freaking Don and blast it! You really are petty and small-minded. I only told you about the inheritance so you'd regret being such a selfish, spineless moron! I had no idea you'd misunderstand me and dump your new fiancé based on a delusion. You had better do something about this. You deceived my mom and made her cry, you sicko. I'm the sicko? There is one of us who needs professional help here, but it isn't me. You're the one who did this by being so irresponsible, Benny. You made your bed, now lie in it. I gotta say, though, I can't actually believe your mom cried. Is it bad that that makes me happy? She didn't just cry, she got admitted to the hospital. She said her chest started to hurt while we were arguing. She suffers with chronic heart disease and the stress of what you did to her must have sent her over the edge because she collapsed right then and there and had to be carted off in an ambulance. That sounds awful. But the only one who got your mom carted off to a hospital is you. You went off and did all that crap entirely on your own. It has nothing to do with me and I accept zero responsibility. What's your end game, woman? You plan on hogging the inheritance all to yourself? How can I hog my own inheritance to myself? If I'm the sole legal beneficiary, it literally belongs to me. Or at least, it will. The future that involved me splitting the money with you disappeared the moment you and your deranged mother slammed those divorce papers in my face. God damn it. You snake. You bitch. How dare you trick me. I get you're probably going to struggle with the child support payments to your baby mama, but make sure you don't forget my compensation, okay? If your mom can't help you pay it, then pay it yourself. You can't keep relying on your mommy to wipe your backside for the rest of your life. It's time to grow up. How am I supposed to get my mom to pay for anything when I cut off ties with her? How am I supposed to mend the relationship after what you did? I never answered back to my mom, even once until you started sticking your nose into our business. I was the model son. I've never seen her so angry in my life. You know, I think this could turn out to be the perfect chance for you to fly the nest and finally start acting like a grown man. I'm pleased for you. It's about time you've gained some independence. I don't need to fly no goddamn nest. Jeez, Benny, aren't you being a little dramatic? She's your mom. Surely you can make it up to her if you really try. But for me and you, this really is the end. I hope you're happy without me. Within a few weeks, my ex-husband came to owe his jilted ex-fiancé monthly child support payments. Coupled with the compensation he owed me for the affair, the burden was heavy, to say the least. The chances of his mom being capable of keeping up with monthly child support payments until her grandson reaches adulthood are slim. 
to add insult to injury, last I heard, old Bessie is constantly in and out of hospital with heart problems. Exacerbated by the skyrocketing stress levels caused by her son's stupefying irresponsibility. Her health was never great to begin with, but something tells me the emotional shock of her beloved son flipping out at her and kicking her out of his life might have been the final push that sent her over the edge. Last I heard, they did tentatively patch things up, but my sources tell me there's still a hefty amount of discontent bubbling away under the surface. It just goes to show, it's easier to destroy a relationship than it is to rebuild. Who knew? Ever since the heart attack, her body's ability to circulate oxygen is weak, and now she's attached to an oxygen tank 24-7. Apparently, it's practically impossible for her to live without the assistance of a carer. Without that, Benny moved in with his aged folks and now works as his frail mother's full-time live-in carer. Something tells me she won't be going on any more bride hunts anytime soon. As for Benny, he's broke and penniless, and short of finding a girl with a heart bigger than a saint's, I doubt he'll be getting married again. Me? I'm thinking about building myself a nice big brand new house, getting myself a poodle, and living in peace and tranquility.